Agent Mohammad Ali Shah, international TEDx speaker, joins us on the show. Ali, I'm going to come to you if you can hear me. Ali, if you can hear me. Yes, yes, Reed, loud and clear. So, Ali, as everybody knows, you're you're one of the most prolific TEDx speakers the country, perhaps the world, has seen. Uh, do you think politicians adapting to this module and this style and this modus operandi is uh, the need of the art? And you know, the best way to influence someone is to tell them the truth. And how do you tell the truth? You tell them by facts and figures, which are to be found in the public domain as well. Culminate that with your experience as somebody who's been behind the scenes in taking that particular philosophy or that, that, that range of activity or action to the next level. Vineet, firstly, I have to compliment you for asking such a marvelous question. What a thought process, and I commend you for that. Yes, most certainly, Vineet, and I certainly believe that the society will not change unless and until we change our own self. And the politics in India today is going through a phase of transition. People who work and not talk should be in power. And we've seen that. It preferably, no, I will not get into uh, the Congress or BJP or Amadi Party or Shiv Sena. Or, I won't get into that, into the political part. But I would say people who are performing, the performers. And I would say the youth performs. In fact, there are a lot of people who, like, for example, my uh, fellow panelist before me, he was talking, giving examples of Colonel Rathor, Colonel Rajendra Rathor, of course, great leader, exemplary officer from the marksman unit of the army. General V.K. Singh, former army chief. Look at them. I mean, they entered politics. Earlier, we did not have, we, we only had General Khanduri at one time, who was the uh, chief minister of Uttarakhand. And we, we had a we had few uh, army officers who were General Silo from, uh, Brigadier Silo from Mizoram, in fact. He was governor and also chief minister of Mizoram. So we had very few all leaders. Now, they are getting into the corporate arena as well. There are so many politicians who I see who are going and giving talks, motivational talks to young leaders, to young students. And it's no more looked upon as Badmasho ka profession. Because there was a time when we had heard the toppers of a batch will uh, become academics. Then a bit lesser than that will join the civil services. Then a bit lesser will join the armed forces. And a bit lesser will get this thing. And people who fail with nothing else better to do will become politicians and will rule over, will command over the others who were the toppers in the class. This was, uh, this was a, a joke which was going on at one time. But it's no more the same, Vineet. It is about all about performance, all about capability, what you can deliver. Because it is for the people, by the people, to the people. What you can deliver for them, what changes you can bring, and what badlaab you can bring for people. So most certainly, I really feel that the dynamics of politics in India is changing. Earlier at one time, nobody really aspired to be a politician. They said, oh, it just happened. We had not heard of political analysts earlier. They were like, all kind of, now we have people, in fact, a lot of good people I, I know, who understand what people say, oh, keep me away from politics, I don't understand politics. Hmm. There, there are people who generally do not understand the difference between geopolitics and politics as well. But yet, so now, the understanding, the awareness is growing, really. So sure. most certainly, and with my experience, you mentioned about my TEDx talks, through my experience of TEDx, where I've traveled to different countries as well, and there I've heard, People talk about India. Mm. Uh, right now, India is on a very, very, is, is, it's growing in a very, very fast pace. And which is a fact, because we've got good leadership. It's as simple as that. I will, irrespective of that, you know, whether you support which party, you support which politician, no. The very fact, you need a visionary at the helm of affairs, a person who can drive the way forward, and you can follow, thinking that you are going in the right direction. So most certainly, I think the... The scenario of politics in India has changed for the better to a large extent. Really. Absolutely. Quick closing comment from Muhammad Ali Shah as well. Ali, do you think this is what the future is all about and more and more politicians, rather than making unsubstantiated speeches and promises that they cannot deliver, should focus on a method or rather a method methodology which gives the people some amount of proof of what they have done. And, you know, we're looking at a corporatization of politics also, which is good in a way. Right, Vineet, absolutely. I totally agree with you. And, you know, I feel that I will tell you that politics is a good thing. Some people have become a family business. Ho gaya hai. Without taking any names or mentioning towards any particular political party. No, in general. They are like, okay, okay, there is no harm in a, in a son following his father's footsteps, all right. But when you have somebody who is incompetent on the hell of affairs, I mean, he will sink not just the party, but the whole nation uh, uh, apart from that. 
So politics should be totally on merit. They should be good leaders. In fact, I, if you ask me, I would say there should be a qualifying exam as well. The way we have for IAS, IPS, similar or for UPSC for the army. Similarly, and there should be a retirement age. I, I feel so. So they, I feel they should be certain. You know, when uh, uh, MLA or an MP or even for one day service gets a pension lifelong. So I am told. Correct, please correct me if I am wrong. Whereas in the defence forces, you have to serve for years, uh, twenty years for an officer, seventeen years for a jawan, and for paramilitary, I do not know. They, I, I, I don't think they even get pension. So it is very, very. It is something. Politics could not be done. Politics, go. Oh. I mean, it's a. You can go ahead and, as you mentioned about corporatization, it's perfectly fine. I mean, they are. We need leaders who can invoke people to work hard, who not just invoke passions and emotions and Understood. sentiments and play upon that. Understood. Yes, sir. Appreciate you joining us in this extremely important uh, and relevant conversation.